Question number three. What is the complete factorization of the trinomial? 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. What is our first step in this case? Well, because all these numbers are even, we should get started by factoring out a 2. How do we do that? Well, 2x squared divided by 2 is just x squared. 12x divided by 2, just 6x. And 18 divided by 2, that's just 9. Fantastic. Hope that makes sense. Of course, if we were to distribute the 2, we would go right back to where we started. Now we can actually factor this trinomial. Can't we? Yes, we can. How can we do that? Well, 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 well. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to 9 and add up to 6. So two numbers that multiply to 9. We can have 1 and 9, or we can have 3 and 3. 3 and 3 work, right? Because 3 plus 3 is 6. So I can add a 3 over here, add a 3 over there, and that is the answer. 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 3. Now note that these are the same, so I can rewrite this as 2 times x plus 3 squared. And that's the answer right here. Fantastic. Now, let's do question 4. Similar question, we have 3x squared minus 9x minus 12. Now I can get started by factoring out a 3, because 3 is a factor of all these numbers. 3x squared divided by 3 is just x squared. Minus 9x divided by 3 minus 3x. And minus 12 divided by 3 just minus 4. Wonderful. Now, we're looking for, I can put an x here, another x there. And we're looking for two numbers that will, <clears throat> sorry about that, multiply to negative 4 and add up to negative 3. So what are those numbers? Well, let's see, what, can, what multiplies to negative 4? Negative 4 and 1. 4 and negative 1. 2 and negative 2. If I have this combination over here, negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3. So I can write x minus 4 times x plus 1. And that combination does work. And that is the answer, of course. So we have 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 1. And we're done.